Hi everyone, this is Gio from GeoNet. Welcome to the GeoPost Quest App Setup Guide. This video is a complete walkthrough of the GeoPost app, where I'll guide you through the setup process, demonstrate its features, and show you how to start quests and earn rewards. Throughout this tutorial, you'll see a screen recording of the app on a mobile device, allowing you to follow along step by step and understand how each option works. Please follow along while I go through the guide using a mobile device of my own, which is this one right here. To get started, download the Quest app using the link in the description. If you're using iOS, you'll also need to install the TestFlight app. After scanning the QR code or clicking the link, you'll be prompted to install TestFlight. For Android users, the app will be installed as an APK file. After scanning the GeoPulse website QR code or clicking the link. Install the app and ensure your GeoPulse device is connected to a power source. Once installation is complete, this screen will appear. This is the device interface. It is currently empty since the GeoPulse was not added yet. Select click here to add a new one now. Click on your GeoPulse device when it appears and confirm that the serial number matches your device. Once connected, the GeoPulse information page will populate. Return to the map tab and begin your quest. Notice the top left corner now shows an RTK indicator. The different colored circle means different RTK levels. Yellow represents RTK float, blue represents regular GPS, and red represents IMU based dead reckoning. A green circle with RTK is what you want, and it also means you have RTK fix. As you can see, it is also now using the location of the GeoPulse instead of the mobile device. Now, let's set a quest to start earning rewards. Currently, IOTEX is the only available quest at the moment, which uses the GeoPulse device's location to earn rewards. However, in the future, we will be adding more quests from other projects we collaborate with to this page. Please be on the lookout for updates as new quests are added. These will provide additional opportunities to earn more rewards. Here, you would enter your IOTEX wallet address if you would like to earn IOTEX tokens as well. If you do not have an IOTEX wallet, please follow the link below for instructions on how to create one. After you answer this, that is all you need to do. It will take some time for the registering process to complete so we can go back to the screen later to check. You will now earn IOTEX tokens just by moving around with the GeoPulse when this is complete. Okay, now let's start a quest. Go back to the map page and then press go to begin quest task. Here you will need to have achieved RTK fix and complete 10 moving points within the hexagon to claim all available tokens in the hex. This drive test demonstrates how data points are collected. As the vehicle moves through the hex, the GeoPulse system logs up to 10 points, each representing a successful RTK fix after some driving. You can do these moving points in 8 different hexes, and you can collect up to 200 geo tokens in total. During a quest, there are the different buttons that can be used. Use the left button to end or finish a task, use the right button to pause the task, and the recenter button here brings you to back to your current location on the map. So I zoomed the page out, and as you can see, the drive I did shows 10 points. These points represent one of the moving points with RTK fix. These points verify consistent high accuracy Genesis coverage. For example, when the system achieves an RTK fix while in motion, it adds a point confirming strong coverage at that location. To view the quest you have completed, navigate to the quest page. Here you can see a list of the different quests you have completed and track your progress. Clicking this will take you back to the map where you can view hexagons where you have completed quest tasks, see how many quests you have completed, and track how many spots in a hex are left to complete. This page also helps you track of your progress and plan your next quest efficiently. Scrolling back to the bottom, I can see that my IOTEX wallet was processed and I can now toggle the bottom to start earning rewards. To withdraw your earned geo tokens, go to the account page and press withdraw, enter your Solana wallet address to receive rewards. If you do not have a Solana wallet address, follow the link below for setup instructions or watch the video link as well. Now we will go over the satellite overview page. This page is not required for using the app, but it is available if you are interested in checking your satellite connections. The sky page provides an overview of available satellites that your GeoPulse is currently detecting. It includes the relative position of satellites in the sky, the number of satellites detected and their signal strength, and different satellite constellations, including GPS, GLONASS, and Galileo. That concludes the setup process and a quick guide on how to use the app's features. Your GeoPulse device is not ready to use. If you found this guy helpful, please like this video and subscribe to stay updated on new features and quests. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching, everybody. GeoNet. 
Mind the Sky. 